dear students welcome to english class this is dibankar kumar sarkar before you assistant teacher lata gamarbati high school dumuria gulla how are you i hope you are well and hearty by the grace of almighty i am also fine today i shall discuss a very important topic the topic name is noun so students take your writing materials the students after we have studied this lesson read and understand text to know kinds of parts of species acts and answer question dear student i am writing some sentences on the board for your betterment Bangladesh It is a beautiful country love our country and language count the number of our words in each of these sentences is parts of speech in english eight parts of speech they are noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction and interjection Dear students, I am writing a 
short passages on the board and look at the underlying words. Shanta lives in Purna with her parents. She goes to school every day she loves to read books this underlying words are called naming words they are called nouns noun are large number of things here are some categories names of people, names of countries, names of cities, names of foods, names of fellows, names of animals, names of qualities. In fact, there is no end to this list. You can add many other things. When a noun refers to one person or thing, it her is singular. On the other hand, when a noun refers to more than one person or one thing, it forms is plural. Look at the following example Cities, S S and I S have been used to for plurals. In the above example, 
these are called rural markers d word ending with s x and c have taken yes and the words ending with y have been used to for plurals but some plurals are irregular in this form for example man man sight children to teeth goose geese mouse mice in english plurals are using form by adding yes yes or is the singular form no more today thank you all in the time of corona you stay at home and avoid by the rules of hygiene